Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Happy Halloween, everybody. I've got a special deck profile coming up for our Halloween edition of Sunday Showdown. What I've got here is Ghastly. Yes, little old Ghost Cloud Ghastly. Let me tell you, this deck is insanely annoying if it has the correct matchup. Let's jump in. I am excited if you can't tell. This is a creation that was born out of a desire to absolutely massacre Gardevoir GX. If you guys have not caught on, I cannot stand Gardevoir GX. It is so overpowered. So what's the best way to bring down an overpowered deck with regular Pokemon? Check this out. So let me just take my stacks here. We'll split it up by Pokemon. There you guys, I'm already kind of fanning them out so you can see what's going on in there. Check our supporters and our items and our stadiums and our energy. All right, so let's get started. The point of this deck is to get three damage counters on our opponent's Pokemon. Why? Because using Creep Show with Gengar from Breakthrough, you get an automatic KO. We don't have to match damage for damage. We simply gotta get three damage counters on our opponent and bam, it's automatic knockout. Love it. So what we're doing is to get our Gengars out there. We're running four copies of Little Old Ghastly. Uh, for one, Psychic Energy, Sleep, Poison, Flip a Coin. If Hedge, your opponent's active Pokemon is now asleep and poisoned. That is rude. All right, so four copies of Ghastly. We'll go ahead and set Ghastly there. And Ghastly Stage 1, we're running three copies of Gengar. Or not Gengar, sorry, Haunter. Ability, check this out. Gothic Fear. When you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may leave both active Pokemon confused. So I'm laughing because there's so many ways that this deck has the ability to get three damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon very easily. For this, for example, you leave both confused. If your opponent's silly enough to try and attack you and they flip that coin, if it's tails, they just threw three damage counters on themselves. We just follow that up with Evolving, and voila, Gengar's out, Creep Show for the KO. All right, so, got our three Haunters and three Gengars. Personally, this might be one of my favorite arts for Gengar. It just looks so cool. So we have Sinister Fog for one Psychic Energy. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now poisoned. Put one damage counter on each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. So we're already starting to spray damage around. And then Creep Show. If your opponent's active Pokemon has three or more damage counters on it, that Pokemon's knocked out. That's the attack we are focusing on in this deck. Like I said, though, it's this deck has been very successful depending on the matchup. A while back, I was testing this deck against Nanelli's uh, Coco, Tapu Coco, not a favorable matchup because as you see, we have to evolve into our stage two. Well, with a fast deck like Coco, you, can't, you don't have the time to set up into your Gengars. Anyway, to continue with the damage um, spreading, or spraying, we got Tapu Coco, two copies of the promo. Flying Flip for a DCE does 20 damage. So after two turns of this, we're in Creep Show Zone. Continuing on, because you know, there's so many Pokemon out there that live to use abilities. If it comes to, and we have to shut our own down, I'm good with it. Garbodor from Breakpoint with Garbotoxin shuts down all Pokemon with abilities if it has a tool attached. Now to help speed up our evolving, this is a little tech card for us. We have Diancie from Burning Shadows for one Fairy Energy. Sparkling Wish, search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your Pokemon and put it onto that Pokemon to evolve it and shuffle your deck. And to help us with some support, real quick, two copies of Tapu Lele for Wonder Tag. So there is our Pokemon lineup. Again, the point of this deck is to quickly get three damage counters onto our opponent, whether that's spraying damage around with Tapu Coco, whether that's confusing our opponent with Haunter, 
whether that's using um, Sinister Fog and poisoning our opponents active and then spraying 10 to the bench. The point is, get the damage out fast. To help us with that, I'm actually going to go out of order here. Usually, guys, after the Pokemon, I follow up with a supporter, but it makes more sense to actually skip to the stadiums because we are running three copies of Po Town. Whenever you're, whenever any player plays a Pokemon from their hand to evolve one of their Pokemon, put three damage counters on that Pokemon. So again, very rude deck. We are trying to get those three damage counters out at the cost of even possibly damaging our own. But the thing about it is that is why we are running this Diancie here. It does not evolve from our hand. It goes straight from the deck to the Pokemon. Also, Eva Sodas and Wally's help too. So there's our Pokemon lineup. We'll go ahead and clean that up real fast. I showed you our stadiums. So next up, we'll take a look at our su uh, supporters. And then we'll look at our items. All right. So we'll take that. Put it over there. Okay, our supporter lineup. So, two copies of Sycamore. You guys are familiar with that. Discard your hand, draw seven cards. And each player shuffles their hand into their deck and then takes the same amount of cards as they do have prize cards left over. Shauna, shuffle your hand into your deck and then draw five cards. Lily, draw a card until you have six in your hand. If you play this on your first turn, you get to draw eight, or at least until you have eight in your hand. Wally, to help us avoid the um repercussions of po town search your deck for a card that evolves from one of your pokemon and go ahead and evolve that pokemon okay you can do this during the first turn or on a pokemon that was put into play this turn you could very easily do an eva soda wally combo all right so very 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 cool supporter and we have a few one-off supporters here Ninja Boy, if we got a Ghastly to start with, we can quickly Ninja Boy into Tapu Koko. Pokemon Fan Club, ideally you want to run Bridget, but I don't have any Bridget, so Fan Club's the next best thing. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, reveal them, put them in your hand. Bridget, I believe, lets you go for three, but you have to put them on your bench. You can't put them into your hand. Skyla, search your deck for a trainer card, reveal them, put it into your hand. Help us get our Eva Sodas. And to really mess with our opponent, we are running three copies of Guzma. You guys know what Guzma does by now. But if you don't, you get to switch your opponent's Pokemon, Pokemon uh, bench Pokemon where they're active, but then you have to switch your own. Okay, so there's our support lineup. We'll go ahead and clean that up, move on to the items to really see how does this deck roll, all right? So two copies of Eva Soda. Again, search your deck for Pokemon that evolves from one of your own Pokemon and go ahead and evolve that. Evo it, this avoids the effects of Po Town. Timer Ball. Just running one of these because quite frankly, I never really have too much luck with these, but flip two coins for each head. You get to search your deck for an evolution Pokemon. Only running two copies of Ultra Ball. Usually I run four. It's pretty standard, but because we have other ways of evolving, like Diancy and Eva Soda and Wall, we only run two copies. Discard two cards from your hand, search your deck for a Pokemon. Here is our way of getting energies back. Energy retrieval, put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand, and then Professor's Letter, search your deck for two basic energy cards, reveal them, put them in your hand. We have to run Professor's Letter because we're running two different types of energy, Psychic and Fairy, so that Diancy can utilize um, her ability. One copy of Rescue Stretcher to get our Gengars, our Haunters, our Ghastlies back. Three copies of Poison Barb. Why? Remember what I said about getting three damage counters. Thinking about switching that with Bursting Bloom, the only problem is Bursting Bloom goes away after a turn, regardless of if it was used or not. Two copies of Float Stone. That's in case our Lele gets stuck. Just so we can get it out of there. Or Diancy. Two copies of Field Blower to get rid of annoying stadiums. Hey, this might even be used to get rid of our own stadium once we've put three damage counters on our opponent. And our energy. We are looking at one, two, three, four, five, six copies of basic psychic energy. Two copies of fairy energy and two DCEs. All right, so that is our 
<laughs> Halloween version of a, uh, or not Halloween version, but my Halloween deck. And so we will wait in anticipation to see what Nanelli builds for her Halloween deck. And we will have a All Hallows Eve Sunday showdown. Thanks for joining me for this deck profile. This has been Nanelli and Baxter's Pokemon. Hey, if you like this comment, or like this comment, haha, <laughs> LOL. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you uh, have suggestions on what we maybe I could change out in this Halloween deck, leave me a comment. And think about subscribing. If this is your first time seeing videos from the Nelly and Baxter's Pokemon. We have all kinds of cool stuff coming up. Um, and if you are subscribed, be sure to check or click that little bell option. That lets you know when we are posting videos. So you can be the first to check out what we have. Thank you so much for hanging out with me for this video. Have an awesome day.